Germany used to be the world's leader in the creation of cars. No country came close to the quality of these vehicles, so much so that no one could have seen the downfall. Hello and welcome to today's video. Germany has long been considered the father of the modern car, but has not been significantly recognized much in recent years. To understand why, we need an example. And to see that example, we need to travel more than a hundred years to see the start of Mercedes-Benz. It all began with two men, Karl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler. Both of them have been working on creating their own version of the automobile in the late 1800s. But it wasn't until the turn of the century they decided to make some serious headway. In 1901, they merged their companies to form Daimler-Benz AG, which would later become known as Mercedes-Benz. The name Mercedes comes from a woman named Emil Jenik, who was a wealthy Austrian diplomat and racing enthusiast. Jenik was so impressed with Daimler's cars that she became a sales agent for the company and pushed for improvements in the design and performance of the cars. In 1901, she suggested the name Mercedes for the new model, which was a hit with the customers and helped it propel the company to new heights. In the early years, Mercedes-Benz was known for its racing success, with the company winning numerous races and setting speed records. Their success on the track helped to establish the brand as a leader in the automotive industry and paved the way for future innovations. One of the most notable innovations was the introduction of the first mass-produced car, or the Mercedes-Benz 170B. This car was designed to be affordable for the average person, while still maintaining the high standards of quality and luxury that the brand was known for. It was a huge success and helped to cement Mercedes-Benz's reputation as a leader in the automotive industry. Over the years, Mercedes-Benz has continued to push the boundaries of what is possible in the automotive industry. They have introduced numerous technological advancements, such as the first airbag and electronic stability control. They have also continued to produce high-performance cars that are the envy of the automotive world. However, if you go a bit deeper, you will quickly find out that Mercedes has barely grown over the last 20 years compared to other car companies, such as Audi, which has barely grown in the last decade. This decline is due to several factors. Let's take a look. One major factor contributing to the decline of German cars is the increasing complexity of modern vehicles. Today's cars are packed with more features and technology than ever before, which can make them more difficult to manufacture and maintain. This complexity can lead to more frequent breakdowns and higher repair costs, which can ultimately impact the overall reliability and quality of these vehicles. Another factor is the increasing pressure to cut costs and increase profits. The automotive industry is incredibly competitive and car manufacturers are under constant pressure to improve the efficiency and reduce costs. This can lead to corners being cut, resulting in lower quality materials and components being used in the manufacturing processes. Furthermore, the trend towards globalization and outsourcing has also had an impact on the quality of German cars. Many car manufacturers have shifted productions to countries with lower labor costs, such as China and Mexico. While this can help to reduce costs, it can also lead to a decrease in quality as quality control and oversight may not be as stringent as it is in Germany. In addition, the increasing focus on environmentalism has led to the adoption of new technologies such as electric and hybrid powertrains. While these technologies offer many benefits such as improved fuel efficiency and reduced emissions, they also present new challenges for car manufacturers. These challenges include the need for new manufacturing processes and materials, which can be costly and difficult to implement for Germans. Another factor is the rise of new competitors in the automotive industry. In recent years, car manufacturers from Asia, such as Toyota, Honda, and Hyundai, have been increasingly competitive in the global market. 
These manufacturers offer high quality vehicles at lower prices than Germans, which can make them more attractive to consumers. Furthermore, the emergence of new technology companies such as Tesla has disputed the traditional automotive industry. These companies offer new and innovative technologies such as electric and autonomous vehicles, which can make traditional gas-powered cars seen as outdated. The decline in the quality of German cars can also be attributed to the changing tastes and preferences of consumers. While German cars have long been associated with performance and luxury, many consumers are now more interested in practicality and efficiency. This shift in consumer preferences has led to a focus on smaller, more fuel-efficient vehicles, which may not necessarily align with the traditional strengths of German car manufacturers. Finally, the decline in the quality of German cars can also be attributed to a lack of innovation and a failure to keep up with changing trends in the industry. While German car manufacturers have traditionally been at the forefront of innovation, there's been a perceived lack of progress in recent years. This can lead to a sense of complacency and a failure to adopt changing market conditions and consumer preferences. So, for all these reasons, the decline of German's automotive industry has become a bit more clear, as in why. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh wait, don't click off yet. Have you clicked on that wonderful, wonderful subscribe button? And also, since you're still here, why don't you check out this awesome video? Thank you, and I'll see you in the next episode.